think about yelling inside of a canyon, okay? When you, let's say you're, you're at the Grand Canyon, you yell as loud as possible, and then all of a sudden you hear these things, it's like your own voice is bouncing back at you. What's happening is that sound is, is hitting a surface and it's traveling, and your ears are receiving different parts of that signal at different times, so it sounds like an echo. Now, they, you know, er, in the early days of recording, the way that they would simulate these things is they would actually put a microphone inside a chamber. It was called an echo chamber. And they would, they would put a, a speaker, and then they would put a microphone at the end of that chamber, and then they would record the audio that went through it. We now have the ability to, we now have the ability to simulate these things using electronics or using plugins. Adding time-based effects can, can make your mix more interesting. It can also allow you to simulate environments, space, depth. If you've ever sung in the shower and you hear how amazing that sounds, um, you know, it, what it's doing is you're muddling those frequency because everything's kind of bouncing off the hard surfaces so it sounds more blended together. So time-based effects are a huge part of, of adding depth, adding interest to a mix. Our staple is one-on-one -on -one in an actual studio. So whereas you'd be theorizing in a classroom, what you're doing is you're working with an artist or producer who's worked with bands that you know, who's worked with hip-hop artists that you absolutely love who's worked with your favorite female vocalist, who's worked with tons of, of professionals in the industry. This is what makes this thing special. This is what makes this different from anything else.